This tutorial explains how to insert a row at a specific index position of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the pandas data frame that we can create with lines two to seven of the code. So first in line two of the code, I'm importing the pandas library and then in the next step in lines four to seven, I'm creating an exemplifying pandas data frame in Python. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right that a new data frame is appearing, which is called my data. In the next step in line eight of the code, we can print this data frame to the bottom right. And then you can see that we have created a pandas data frame containing four rows and four columns, which are called x1, x2, x3, and x4. Now, if we want to append a new row to this pandas data frame at a specific index position, we first need to create a list object which contains the values that we want to add to our data frame. And we can do that as you can see in line 10 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm creating a new list object, which is called my row. And we can print this row to the bottom right by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that our list contains the values 11, 22, 33, and 44. Now, if we want to append these values at a certain index position to our pandas data frame, we first should create a copy of our pandas data frame. And I'm doing that because I want to keep an original version of our pandas data frame. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see that a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data new. And at this point, this data frame contains exactly the same values as our example data frame, my data. And then in the next step in line 14, I'm using the log attribute of this new data frame to insert our row values at the index position 1.5. So if you run line 14 of the code, our new data frame is updated. And then in the next step in line 15 of the code, I'm using the sort index function to reset our index values to a range from zero to the number of rows. So if you run line 15 of the code, our data frame is updated once again. And we can see that by printing the new data frame by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see that we have added our row values at the second index position to our example data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.